Hello, my name is Rich McFarley, and I really appreciate you letting me come to speak to you today. And I have something to say. Anyone who wants political office has to be willing to fight for it and work hard for it. To beat Rodney Freelingheisen, you're going to have to choose your hardest fighter and your hardest worker. The real hard work will begin in Washington because there's so much wrong in America that can be made better. If you examine my politics and my opponents, you'll find that I'm more progressive and my agenda leads towards more funding for education and special education. Some people may think I lean towards supporting our educational institutions because I'm a serving member on the Board of Education and that's part of it. Some people may think I want to support special education because my daughter is a special needs student and that's part of it too. In this election, it's vital that we choose the hardest worker who is a tireless fighter. I believe it's me. It's only fair that I tell you the truth about me and how my achievements have meaning. In, in my life, I've had two strikes against me. Because there's so much discrimination, I've spent my life in the shadows, hiding like so many others. I never talk about these things, but I will today. I hide the fact that when I was young, I couldn't talk and was in speech therapy until I was nine. I was one of the special needs students that all of us are trying to help. I had the fact that I had a stroke when I was 29 and had to start all over again. I was in a wheelchair and had to learn how to communicate all over again. I was a lucky one. I went to a school that had a speech pathologist and I got the help I needed from her when I was a child. When I had my stroke, I was lucky because I had health insurance and had surgery. I went to a rehab hospital and when my insurance ran out, I took advantage of a program Democrats had created for people whose health insurance ran out or didn't have any, and I got government-funded cognitive therapy. I'm not asking you to vote for me because I'm the disabled guy. I'm hoping to earn your support because I've done the impossible. I, get out of the, I got out of the wheelchair. I learned how to talk again. I run a small business. I was elected to the Board of Education, and I fight for our kids. I married the most wonderful woman on the planet, and I have two beautiful children. And today, I'm running for Congress. If you saw me 18 years ago, you would have started looking for a facility for me to move into. My family considered it. I've asked many people why I was spared when so many other stroke victims die or are fully disabled. My question is always the same one. Did I just get a great surgeon? Or was, was it that I tried so hard to get better? Or is there something I'm supposed to do? Father Lou told me it was all three. Everyone I've asked has told me that it's all three, three, that there's something I'm supposed to do, but I have to find it. I hope you can understand that when I originally found out nobody was running for Congress against Freelingheiser, I thought maybe this was it. I've been told beating Freelingheiser is impossible, but that word doesn't apply to me. I do the impossible every time I get up. I'm an example of everything that's right with the Democratic Party and everything that's wrong with the Republican Party. I'm the bootstrap guy who found a way to overcome everything, be productive, pay taxes, and contribute to my country. I had some help along the way. I owe everything to the Democratic Party. You're the party of the good people. You're the party of, we'll help you bet back up on your feet so you can pull yourself up by your bootstraps. The Republicans are the party of, you're on your own. As your congressman, I'll be a constant reminder to the Republican Party that they, they, that they are not the party of family values. Defunding Obamacare is not a family value. Taking funding away from education is not a family value. I'll be the hardest fighter for working families and our district. Nobody can tell me that spending money on special needs children is a waste of money. Nobody can tell me that health care and rehabilitation is a bad investment. Because I'm here. I made it this far. I'm, the, I'm going to be the biggest thorn in the Republican side because I know it was the values of the Democratic Party that helped me recover enough to be able to avoid living in a facility. I'm going to make sure they know it too. When they say government, government programs don't work, I'm going to say, oh yeah, look at me. Here I am. I want you to know I'm not a quitter. I'm the hardest worker you'll ever find. Me, find I'm going to debate my opponent whenever he has the courage to face me because I have the courage to fight for your support. I think there's a place in America for a guy like me who sometimes has trouble talking, 
but still manages to do a lot of it. I want to be your representative. I want to represent the middle class and working families. We can unseat Freelingheiser. We all have to do it together. All of us working together can do the impossible. Trust me, I know all about doing the impossible. Thank you.